Doopy Doopy Doo, making up the video! Hello everybody, and welcome to the first video of making the video. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about how we made the CMV tribute for Kasato Kinut. Now, I have been a fan of Kasato Kinut and the artist Keiko Takemiya for many years now, and through my fandom I have collected a lot of uh, art books and stuff like that but as a cosplayer I felt like it was something that was missing. I wanted to cosplay the manga and I wanted to make a tribute for the manga that I loved so much. Kazuto Kino that was written in the 70s and is seen by many as the first boy love manga. It took Takeko Takemiya four years to be able to release it since it has so, so much so much um, tense topics. I plan to make a CMV video ever since summer 2012 and I talked to my, to my friend Firebird about it but we were not able to start making it then because we didn't even have a cosplay yet and since we both went to college it was hard to find a time to make any cosplay, cosplay at all. And when, when 2012 ended and 2013 started, we had another big project in hand as well, the advent calendar for 2013. So, being in college and later entered the academy, and having two projects in hand, everything went very slow. But despite that, my burning heart for the Castle Keynote project would never fade. Yay! I filmed the the clouds today, so now I have a beginning on my video. Even though I can't continue with it until summer or something. Yay! Finally, for Nacon 2013, we had a cosplay. It was not 100% done, but still we had a cosplay. Uh, we, but we said to each other that we wouldn't film the scenes with us in it until the cosplay was 100% done. Um, and instead, focus on the scenes where we would not be showing. So what I needed was a horse in a carriage, a pretty door, a statue of a woman, if I could get one with wings, so then great, um, and other stuff. In the beginning, I had also planned to have a search riding a horse in the video, which me meant that I needed a horse. But later, when I realized that Firebird wouldn't, wouldn't have time for a very long time, I decided to skip the horse and just focus on the other stuff. Um, I still needed a horse in the carriage to go, and the scene I wanted to recreate was um, not to spoil anything, uh, one of the last scenes in the anime OVA, or I don't know, like, and or. Uh, a very special scene from the manga that you have read the manga probably recognize with I say horse and carriage. To make the scene um, my mom and I had planned to go to Gena which is a pretty far car ride for me um, but they have like awesome candy canes and horse and carriage so yeah, since I needed a horse and carriage, I was like, let's go there. But before we went to Grenna, we went to a Middle Eve market. And to my happiness, they had a horse and carriage there. So after asking the rider for the carriage, uh, I got to film them. The rest of the summer went very quickly by, especially with all the pictures for the calendar 
that had to be taken during the summer since I had to have like green forest and stuff for it. So it went, went not that much time for the Castle to Key video. And yeah, Firebird and I didn't have too time to meet that much for yeah, so I decided to film all the scenes with me in them first. And then when Fire Birdie will get time, we will film her scenes later. And the first scene that I wanted to film with me was when I was running in the forest. <sighs> Why does that have to be autumn? It's so cold that even smoke comes out of my mouth when I'm breathing. Because now it's October. And you who know who you who live in Sweden knows it's pretty cold in Sweden in October. But you cannot really complain about view, can you? It's pretty beautiful. It's just that it's so cold. And I have pretty much no clothes because well I'm Gilbert. <laughs> but I I guess it's pretty good because you have read Casa Tokinota knows that autumn is pretty much the the theme I'm all alone in the woods and I've been sp running in the woods filming I finished the cosplay in August which is pretty funny when you think about it since well Augu, August. You have to read the Kazuki Nota to, to get that one. <laughs> Do you know what? I think I'll go back home now and take a good cup of warm chocolate. Because I think I'm kind of worth it right now. But then I met a problem. My external hard drive said goodbye and died. And in it, the advent calendar and the Kazuki Nota video. Everything was gone. Happily, I had backup on almost everything except from the three weeks work that I had just lately done, like three weeks. Everything else was saved. But that meant that the scene when I was running in the forest was gone. And the snow had came now. So it was snowing outside. And I didn't have the scene, the forest. And since it will probably be colder later, I had to have that scene as soon as possible. For the first two weeks, I just unstoppably trying to save my hard drive, but I just couldn't. So in the end, I gave it to an expert. And he said that it was probably not going to be able to be saved, but he would do his best. So with that knowledge, I knew that everything would probably be gone. And so I just had to film the scene over again. So there I was in the woods again, now snowing. But I told myself that um, I would be even more in character since it was snowing because in the scene that which I was going to recreate he's running and crying in the forest uh, and the ice is like splattering around his feet so it is cold in the scene so yeah and to also make the the, the fact that I had to redo it worth it I try to make like a meaning for it so I also took some pictures in the forest so I could feel like oh this had to happen because now I could also take pictures so I took some pictures in the forest as well luckily the hard drive could be saved and everything that I had filmed and take photos of I could take back so now I had two versions of the scene which is good plus that I have pictures 
I continue to film for the video, like I went into the forest again, this time when I was standing behind the tree coming out and then turning away. And it was so it was blowing so much, the wind was so strong. I had to stand there in the cold weather, freezing my ass off, waiting for the wind to like ebb out a little bit so I could just step out behind the tree and do my scene. Finally, in November, Firebirdie was able to come and I helped her with a ticket and she came and it meant that we had two days to be able to take all the pictures for the calendar that I had left with Chariot plus making all the scenes for the Castle of the Key video two days but Firebird was, despite that she got very allergic and sick, she was a good sport and we managed to do everything, everything. We managed to film everything. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just couldn't think that you're so much for one night because you know something. <laughs> one, so <laughs> Oh, uh, by the way, hello behind the scenes. <laughs> we are filming right now. What's the problem with this community? I am so snorri, so I can snore a day. Det var så konstigt. Annars var det jättefint. Det var lite lugnt. Du märkte att du kände dig lite så här. Okej, vad fin fan. Ja. Vad ska du göra? Vi ska. Vet du hur det kan? Äsch. Får jag med där i bak? Nu säger jag så där. Ja, det får du ha med. Vad ska du se om text då? Vad ska beep? He's having his beep. In the shirt. Gud! Jag skulle bli mamma! Du bara, ah! Där kom jag! I'm done now. <laughs> She managed to learn the beginning of the song on piano. Dance around the forest. Hej! Nej, jag har bara gjort fel. Okej. This ain't working for you, is it? No. <laughs> filmed by the door. Uh, it was very funny because first we were filming with her glasses on without realizing and then we were just like ready to leave. We were like, oh my god, you have glasses on. We have to redo it. And then we redo it. We did it. It was very fun. And then life continued. I didn't have so much time for the video. Instead I had to like, yeah, I was working from 8 to 4. From 5 to 8 I was taking pictures for the calendar. And then December came very quickly. I had to, every day I had to make the calendar ready for the next day and so it went on and on and on and on and suddenly it was my birthday. Now, ever since summer I told myself that this video would also be a treat for myself, like a present for, for all the hard work I had done. And so it has had to be uploaded on my birthday. And now it was my birthday and I had not edited the video. So I put everything else aside and started to edit the video and finished it and uploaded it on my birthday. 
in the end, I hope that it did not become too rushed, that I was managed to make you feel what I wanted you to feel by the video, that it became a good enough tribute for my favorite manga, my favorite artist, Keiko Takemiya. I really hope it was good enough. <laughs> Thank you for watching.